Hi everyone, good evening, how are you going? Um, I'm making this video because I'm getting tired of something continuously resurfing with people's comments, uh, just a couple of people, colleagues, but they're good people, but also, so am I, I'm a good person, kind hearted, etc. But um, I just want to let you know about this thing that happened in the Philippines. Uh, I want to get it off my chest. Um, I know you know I got scammed, but the day I the day I booked the um, the day I had Devi book the car for from Ronnie, it was the twenty sixth of August. It was my birthday. The car was booked for eight a.m. It arrived at twelve a.m. Twelve sorry twelve noon. He was four hours late and left me with a uh, car that had no petrol in it. Like I said, four hours late. Even though the, you know we were ready to go by eight, Debbie and I, um, and she talk, spoke to the guy. We did a video of the car showing that you know, and we actually had to drop. We had to go and get petrol, then we had to go and get lunch, and then we had to go and drop him off. He had no driver here at all. Okay, and he and uh, he said if you have the car longer, here's a number. You can message me to say we're going to keep it longer. Well, unfortunately, the number he gave me, Ronnie, as you know when you see this, the number was wrong because I messaged him because we end up staying a couple of days longer than, and I messaged him every single day to say, listen, we were Debbie's family, her dad's side, then her mum's side, etc. Um, and all that. And, uh, yeah, he never... Respond and he said, "Why didn't you message me when we returned the car?" Well, we returned the car very, very clean. We cleaned it. We filled. I, I filled it up with petrol, and I returned it to him a full tank, which is far less than he gave me. He gave me the car in the empty. I'm getting tired of this this resurfacing because uh, it's rubbish. Uh, Ronnie's a scammer, big time. He didn't bother to tell the court when I had to pay more than what I should have that he was late, he gave me the wrong number, his phone was stolen. I and when we returned up, yeah, he was a jerk, an absolute jerk. And um, I gave him a very clean car full of petrol. Uh, also, um, and, and he, um, yeah, I tried to pay him. I tried to pay him the remainder of the money there, and also um, when I was in Australia, he didn't bother to tell me. Well, his his phone was stolen, so the price went up. I had to pay more than what the bill came to. He didn't tell the court. He got me arrested. He got a lawyer involved, and I tried to pay very hard through over the phone but he didn't answer i found out his phone was stolen he didn't tell this to any of the court now i got scammed by this guy and i had to pay too much money to his lawyer his jerk of a lawyer one is a scammer and it gives the philippines a bad name i certainly think many times before i come before i come back even though my son, even though luke is over there uh and it got reminded to me tonight I won't mention the person's name, but the person is a very, very good, kind-hearted person. They tried to help me out. But I got held in custody for three days because this guy is a scammer jerk. I don't want to see anyone get damaged by this. It ruined my... I've got good friends over there, some good friends, but it ruined my opinion of the Philippines. And I think many times before coming back. Because I don't want to come back to that. And I, it ruins... I had the police say, I hope this doesn't... Um, I had the chief of police and other police say, I hope this doesn't dampen your opinion of the Philippines. Well, if you're arrested for something you didn't do wrong and you tried to make it right, how would you feel? So, yeah. Um, and Debbie made me sit in a... I wasn't in jail at all. But I was in custody and she made me sit there for three days just to hurt me and to prove a point. Well, that sucks. Big time. 
because I come over for Lukey's second birthday and all this other garbage happened. And, uh, yeah, I was going to go over there and grow vegetables and uh, feed the world and all that with good, healthy vegetables. Well, it's dampened my enthusiasm on the country. Um, De as I said, Debbie did propose to me, etc., and wanted to have a more family with me. Well, tonight, because it got brought up again, uh, I'm no troublemaker, I can promise you that. But this person said, uh, you know, said some things I didn't appreciate. But I didn't appreciate getting scammed and having to go through the court system at all. It hurt a lot and uh, I constantly got said, I hope, it constantly got told to me, I hope it doesn't dampen your, I hope you come back one day. Well, I love nature, but I'm thinking many times before I come back. People should just, people like Ronnie, they stuff up a country because I'm posting this video because of him. I tried to do the right thing and uh, because of him, I got taken into custody when I was only there for Lukey's birthday. So just think many times before you go there. I've been tied off for these videos, but damn it, I'm tired of being gagged and, and holding back what I think because... Uh, you know, it keeps resurfacing, and I'm, and I'm really sick of it. I try to be a good good father to Lukey, a very good father. I was there the night he was born, you know, etc., etc. I bought all his... I did what a good father should do, bought the nappies, bought the formula, etc., etc. And I tried to be a good guy, and it backfired on me. So, um, yeah... It's just made, put a very bad taste in my mouth of the Philippines. Um, and it's why I think many, many times before I go there. So just be careful, everyone, because this is really, um, I have got some good friends. Don't know who they are, but this really sucks because it keeps surfacing. I was going to rent some land over there, grow the veggies, etc. But this rubbish keeps surfacing and I returned a car to him that was I've already told you that story and uh, Ronnie is a goddamn scammer okay so yeah it puts you off a country and it's going to affect their tourism because who's going to go you know who's going to go when you get scammed like I do I certainly don't really want to but I, there's a little boy over there who I love very much so yeah I get tired of this resurfacing so I did the right thing, but the right thing wasn't done by me. And that's what I want to say. Thank you so much. Good night.